Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. I'm in a great mood today. Why? Because pendulums are reigning supreme in this meta. Let's go. But it's not just Pen Magician. It's not just a Demian. But it's also the Zephyra Gang, baby. So if you love Zephyrus, I want you to spam in the comments right now. Let's go. And today's the very last day of the exclusive Magician Playmat sale. Get it right now. Last day. Literally, I announced yesterday. Last day. We literally sold out in the first five hours, so I'm literally ordering more just for you guys for the last 24 hours because I set 48 hours and I'm mad at my work. So with that being said, it's time to get into Zephyra Absolute Domination. Let's go. Cure Zephyras. Control. Traps. Hand traps. Best neck. Destruction. Clapping. Obliteration. Let's go. I'm going to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Let's get 50,000 billion likes. You guys think we could do that? Or a thousand. Whatever works. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Let's get straight into pure Zephyra destruction. Let's go. Pure Zephyra. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm so ready to showcase you guys this. Before we get into it, I want you guys, I want you guys to see my hand right now. You're going to witness the greatest hand in the history of Pendulum Domination ever in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. You're going to witness the Neb and you're going to witness Zephyra. Now what the Neb does, for those who don't know... Deneb serves as another Zephyrath. Deneb searches any scale you want. It's absolutely insane. Summon Deneb, Imperm. Thanks, bro. You just Impermed my bluff, my bait. Now, my Zephyr Nui can resolve, and the duel's over. This deck's absolutely insane. It has so many cards that search a low scale or a high scale that I've never seen any Pendulum deck like this. You can go ahead and say that this is the most consistent deck, both going first and second, because you can still play 12 hand traps in this, and you have like 20 cards that search either a low scale or a high scale. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, Deneb is one of those cards. Zephra, Oracle of Zephra is another one of those cards. We're going to scale Zephra. We're going to put that in. Scale. Effect. It's so consistently good. We're going to put up three negates and he, he can't do anything about it. We're going to go on to game two over here. Where we actually go through a little ruling dispute. He activates the field spell. He doesn't actually declare it. I'm waiting for him to declare it for me to ash. He waited 12 seconds for me to ash. I told him I'm w I was waiting for him to declare it. Apparently, he doesn't need to actually declare it. So I had no opportunity to ash it, which is fine. I'll just ash the normal summon. So it kind of worked out because he did have multiple normal summons anyways. So at the end of the day, it did work out. The judge ruled that uh, the judge ruled that uh, he doesn't need to declare it for that field spell, which is fine. Uh, he is a Chad for... He just wanted to prove that he was right. He didn't want to cheat. Uh, he said that uh, he could have said I was right just so he... he I wasted the Ash on this, and he's got the search off, but so good guy for that. I go Rhoda to search for the best card in this deck after Zephyrath. I go Deneb. Deneb, Imper this card's actually fucking ridiculous. It's so insane in this deck, because it forces an interruption. I'm going to Oracle of Zephyr here, he Ashes, and I cry. But that's fine, because I have Veil for his turn, and I have another Oracle of Zephyr to get me another. So we're totally in a great scenario here. He's going to activate Field Spell, he's going to get Sergio. He's going to summon, I just Veiler. I'm like, alright, this is great, this duel's not over. I'm just going to Oracle of Zephyr again. That's the beauty of this deck. You have so many cards that just search for any random scale. Any low scale or high scale. Clearly, I'm missing a high scale here. I send the Zephyr Nui. Pendulum Zephyr Nui. Effect. Get the counter trap. And there's really nothing. I can't lose this game. I really can't lose this game. Valor. Perfect. Zephyr War Pop. He chains Punishment. I could very easily activate 9 pillars to negate this. But I want to save my 9 pillars. I'm hoping that he uses Nithis to pop a scale. Because then the Zephyr Providence will just get the other scale, and I save my counter trap. Uh, he pops it anyway, so it's the same result. I go Zephyr Providence, I Pendulum both, I turn it into a Synchro. I turn because uh, that's the beauty of this as well. That Zephyraxi makes the Zephyr Nui a Synchro, a Tuner. So now I can go Needle Fiber, Veiler, Selene, Axis Code, and I'm going to blow up everything on his board. I don't want there to be any issues here. I'm putting him on a one turn clock. Now, I recognize that next turn. I just simply pendulum summon this and I kill him. Uh, so that's the beauty of Zephyrus. Every turn, you get so much plus every turn. So by putting him on a one turn clock, he has to clear as the loses. And even if he clears it, I'm fine. He has no way to clear it and I win. This is another replay you guys can just see while I'm talk while I'm dueling or while I'm talking to you guys. You guys are going to witness. Obviously, this is a really bad matchup uh, for, because I have a lot of useless hand traps in my deck against his deck. But it's fine. I'm playing Altergeist. I'm going to destroy him in the match, obviously, because Pen Best deck. I get obliterated by Imperm Faker. And I, was, I didn't have any will to live after seeing that. Imperm Faker, I'm like, all right, I don't even want to play. I scoop when I shouldn't have scooped. You're going to see. I really shouldn't have scooped. I was just so cheesed that he Imperm Fakered. So never do that. Never get uh, like that. 
Uh, he ends up scooping game two because my deck's fucking insane and he knows he stands no chance. Uh, he goes pot here. I have evenly. And this is going to showcase why evenly and lightning storm are just so good this meta. He has Imperial Order and Secret Village. I'm like, it doesn't matter, bro. I'm playing a Pendulum deck. Typically, this should be dual over Order and Secret Village. I just fucking obliterate him. Evenly, Lightning Storm, like, bro. <laughs> See ya! I love tasting your own medicine. Anyways, I'm going to showcase you guys now the deck list. This is the deck list. Actually, my pride and joy of this deck. Uh, there's no prosperity because I'm trying to keep it as budget as possible. I understand there's Lightning Storm and Evenly. I know that's not budget. You could play literally anything else instead of these. You could play Duster and Triple Cosmic. It, you go little and one red reboot. You can play don't play reboot. You can play anything. It's just dueling books, so I'm doing it. Prosperity, like you could if you own prosperity, you could definitely play it. Uh, you do run the risk of running too many uh, offensive cards. But what I would recommend if you do own a prosperity is removing one Zephroxithin, one Zephroxy, even two Zephroxy, and playing three prosperity. I think twelve hand traps is a good number. You want post side deck to have like 20 hand traps against decks that re require it. And that's it. So that's the actual thing. I'm going to go into the actual deck profile now. Triple Zephyrox, Triple Zephyr Nui, Triple Zephyroxy. Zephyroxy is so good because it turns these two into a free draw one with Crocosaur. And then you choose the hand trap that you stack. Uh, sometimes you could just choose to stack a Deneb. If you didn't normal summon, if you have another level four, then you normal the Deneb, get a plus one, and then you just rank four into Dweller. So it's very cool what you can do with Deneb. Uh, Zephyroxy could also turn Zephyr Nui. Uh, you can do so much cool plays with it, man. I'm telling you. Uh, you have Zephyr uh, Tubin, Zephyroxithin, Deneb. There's times where Zephyr Nui and Valor go into Dragster with Needle Fiber Selene combos. Very cool. Uh, you also always resolve Selene because all you need to do is draw one spell. And because Zephyr Nui searches your spell, you always have one spell. And because you have two scales, you'll always have three spells. You play triple Deneb, double Zephyroxithin, triple Zephyr Tubin. Like I said, you could cut Zephyroxithin. To, you could cut the Zephyroxithin. And you could cut two Zephyroxys. And just play three three uh, Prosperity. Honestly, you could do that. Absolutely. It'll, it'll make the deck better even. It'll make the deck way better. Uh, I wouldn't remove any hand traps. I'm telling you, I think 12 hand traps is a good number. You want to open two hand traps. One hand trap is not enough to stop this meta. And you need to play these three traps. As far as the spell goes, you play the Rota for the Deneb. Triple Providence, Triple Oracle, Zephyr, one Terraforming. I said earlier in the video that this deck has so many ways to, to get, search either low scale or high scale. So you have three Zephyroth, which searches any scale you want. Three Deneb, that's six. Rota, seven. Three Providence, ten. Three Oracle, Zephyr, thirteen. Terraforming, fourteen. You have fourteen cards that search either low scale or high scale. If you remove the one Zephyroxithin and the double Zephyroxy for three more Prosperities, you have 17 cards in your deck that search either a low scale or high scale. You literally never brick. It's absolutely ridiculously good. Like 17, bro. That's actually insane. And because Prosperity searches the Zephyroth, basically, you also have like, you have, four, uh, you have 17, 3, 6, 7, 10. You have 13 ways to Zephyroth, 4 to Deneb. It's actually ridiculously good. Honestly, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put in Prosperity in this deck. So for those who don't have it, just get a job or some shit. Uh, 12 hand traps. My hand traps of choice are Ash, Valor, Imperm, Nibiru. Uh, Nibiru, not many people expect. That's why I like it in the main deck. Not many people expect it. Uh, I don't like Ghost Spell. I think it's absolutely garbage. I would remove Nibiru for either Meister or Ghost Mourner if I had a choice for the main deck. This deck does not play Droll in the side because it can't OTK very well. So I'd rather just stop them than stopping them for one turn. Side deck hand traps are Skull, Meister, Mourner, and Psycho Reader. I, against dry tra against very heavy combo decks, I do play all 21 main deck. Uh, I mean, post side deck. Uh, you just, you could remove anything you want. You could remove, keep one Zephyroxy, keep one Zephyroxithin. Uh, if you're playing all nine, you probably have to remove the Satellar Knights, to be honest. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you remove all the Satellar Knights. Keep as many of these as you can. You might potentially brick, but remember, you're playing Zephras, where you have like 13 ways into your Zephrath. So you won't brick if you have 13 ways to Zephrath. You just have to, you could remove a tr one trap as well. Uh, but you need to see the hand traps going second. Also, three lightning storm to evenly. The beauty of these is if you really want to, against some decks, you could play these even against some combo decks going second, depending on how the deck is. Evenly against so many combo decks fucking obliterates them. So you can still play these against those type of decks. That's why I opted this for over Duster. Twin Twister, you don't want to discard any cards, so don't play Twin. I'd either play these. If you can't afford these, play Duster or Triple Twin, Triple Cosmic. Extra deck. Gravity Controller comes up for the Zephyr Nui, especially when you side out the 9-pillar uh, going second post-side deck. 
Masquerina is extremely important. If you're playing a budget version of this deck, Zephyra is extremely budget. You still need Masquerina. Masquerina with Zephyras are just too important. You're playing each of one Nightmare. The Fiber Selene Axis Code combo is very important. This deck has a very tough time killing. Axis Code allows you to actually kill. Dragster comes up a lot. The same with Croc. Then you got Dweller, Tornado, Baguska, Gallon, and Zeus. In my honest opinion, this deck is the absolute stones. This is my honest opinion. I'm going to show you guys the list now with Prosperity. So I changed up the list for you guys. You can see the version with Prosperity. I organize it in a specific way. I'm going to explain it now. Uh, some people don't organize like, like fuck spell, monster trap. Doesn't matter what they are. Organize it in the way of what they do for your deck. So the first 17 cards in my deck, they all literally search for either a low skill or high skill. These are my starters. This is a pendulum deck with literally 17 cards that search a low skill or high scale. Those are the best starters. So if you open two or three of these, even if you open one of these, all you need is one. All you need is one of these and one of the other uh, three, one of the other eight cards you have, and you're good to play. Ideally, you want to open two of the 17. The net pals you play, all these help you play through hand traps. They're all hand trap bait. And these are the best ones to open. You still want to play Zephyr Nui because it's the, like, as much as you can because it's the only one you want to pen summon. And you're really playing Zephyr Nui Control. So you play Zephyr Nui Control where you search the trap with the Zephyr Nui and you protect it with the hand traps. You still need more low scale than high because Zephyrath typically will be a high scale because it's sending the Zephyr Nui to be a high scale. So you still need to play more scale once. You're playing more... Also, I think Zephyraxi is better than Zephyr Thubin, but because you're playing Deneb, you want to ensure as much access to the level 4s as possible to still give you a lot of rank 4 plays. That's why we're making sure to play a lot of rank 4s. So this is the version. Also in this version, because we're playing Prosperity, you want to still destroy back row decks very easily, and a lot of these hand traps could be useless against them. So what we're doing against those decks is I inserted an extra duster. So now we have 7 like auto-win destroying cards against them. You can even choose to go second against trap decks. You remove the three Nibiru, you remove the three Veiler, you remove the one, the, the th sorry, the three, three Nibiru, three Imperm, and one Veiler. Remove these seven for these seven. You could keep one Veiler or two Veiler because of access code. Otherwise, that's why I'd put Imperm over it, but Veiler is better just in case because of access code. If you want to, you can also keep the Imperm, and Ash is good versus every back row deck. So anyways, that's the Prosperity version. That aesthetic doesn't change. I think it's just fucking insane. Prosperity is definitely better. It's a little more expensive, but it's definitely way better in this version. Seeing as how you have 17 starters. If you guys in the chat can think of any other starters in the Zephyr deck, let me know. Also, the, the, the conversation can be made to play less hand traps. The conversation can be had to ensure your plays of Zephyrus, where you play one Nibiru. The conversation can be had where you remove maybe this. Add two Nibirus to the side deck. Play 5 back row hate. You have prosperity to search into your back row hate. Play the 1 Nibiru always because sometimes you want to search it with your Gallon Granite. Now instead of playing 12 hand traps, we play 10 hand traps. And in doing so, we create more low scale space by playing Max Zephraxi. This now ensures that you have more low scales. So all you need to draw is just draw one of these 17 and one of these 10. You still play your 3 traps, which we can actually put the traps here. Then you just see the other ones, the other Zephyr cards that you pen summon slash keep as your other scale. So one of these goes your scale, the other you pen, the other you pendulum summon. The more Zephyraxes you have, the more needle fiber plays you have, the more dragster crocosaur plays you have. When Baronis comes out, you could make Zephra you could use Zephraxi to turn uh so Zephraxi could turn the Nui into a tuner, which is absolutely massive. This card can also turn another Zephra into a tuner. So you can also use this to turn Ze Zephra Tube into a tuner and then turn them into Dragster. So that's important. If you really want to, you can remove a Cerberus to put in another Synchro 7. Not a Synchro 10 because Baronis is the only good Synchro 10. So if Baronis was was uh, illegal, you could put Baronis in the, in the extra deck. Since it's not, in this version, so we're playing Triple Zephraxi, uh, we could put in a Zeta, which is also a good Synchro 7 to have. Anyways, uh, it's always good to have this. And then post side deck, you're still playing 20 plus hand traps. And you have five back row mass removal cards. And still playing Prosperity to search into them. So this actually probably is the best way to play this deck. I'm a big fan of it. And I'm going to be playing this version of the deck a lot moving forward. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This deck's going to be even better in the battle list. If you guys got this far, I want you guys to smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Check out the four links down below. 
where you guys can check out my coaching. You can check out my Patreon. Where I'm going to do a discussion on this video on this deck shortly. Also, you can check out the beautiful playmats that we have in stock. Only a few left before they're all sold out. And we can check out our stream where we stream every day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!